So you have successfully created a new app built with an ActionScript native extension. So now we went through how to do that with Flash Professional, with Flash Builder, and now we need to package the app. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the way this works, here I am in this folder that I've been using. Uh, this was from the Flash Builder example, but the principle applies. What I'm doing is I'm putting these files like this uh, P12 and provisioning files all in the same directory so that it makes it easier to work with the command line. Uh, the reason for that is when you're typing command line stuff, you have to reference things. And if they're in the same folder, it's a lot easier. You don't have to type so many folder names, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is what, the way I'm going to show it. This particular folder is the Flash Builder Project folder. Uh, and these are the two files that were generated. Now, whether you use Flash Professional or whether you used Flash Builder, as long as you have packaged the app, built the app, sorry, built the app with the Air 3.0 compiler and you were, you know, you had all the settings right, you were targeting the right things, you'd overlaid the SDK properly, then you take the Swift and the app XML. And at this point, we're going to jump to the command line. So go ahead and open a command line. Now, of course, this is very similar on Windows, but I'm going to show it here on Mac. First, I want to go to this folder. I'm going to type CD and then I'm going to click and drag this folder name. And as you can see, here I am inside that folder. Okay, when I'm calling the I'm going to call the ADT Packager. And the ADT Packager is uh, located in the Air SDK, and you can reference it however you want. I just made a copy of the folder and put it here just for the sake of having quick access to it. Again, this is just the way I like to do it. You can set it up however you want. In order to reference it on a Mac, we need to do a dot and a slash, forward slash, so that it knows we're telling it where specifically the file is. It's in the Adobe Air SDK, and it's in the bin folder, and it's called ADT. Now, this is very similar to all the other command line compiling for packaging with uh, the Air SDK. The only thing is we're using a few additional uh, functionality and the functionality is specifically found if we look at this web page it's it's right here in this using native extension so all this information is here right so this is what I'm reviewing just so you know um, I happen to have done this already with uh, an existing you know I practiced this before I recorded it just so I wouldn't mess it up and so I'm just going to follow along with what I've done. And again, I just got it from this website. Okay. So here back on the command line, we're doing the, we've, we've got the path to the ADT. And then we're going to say package. And we're going to say target. And in this example, I'm going to, I want to do the uh, Android version. The principle is the same, whether it's, you know, you, if you're targeting iOS, then you reference the provisioning profile, blah, 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 blah. But for this example, I just want to show it on Android. Um, if I get around to it, I may show it on iOS. We'll see how it goes. Target then is APK. Uh, we need to tell it what kind of uh, certificate we're referencing, which is the store type, which happens to be PKCS12 and then the key store, which is the file. And if you notice, um, for me, I'm using android.p12. So follow the other tutorials, you know, you're already good at this, you know what you're doing. Now we're gonna give this a name, and I'm gonna call this vibration.apk. So that's the name of the uh, app, the APK that I'll install. And then we have what we call vibration, the app XML, 
So remember it's called vibration example dash app dot XML. Then we need to reference the file, uh, the Swift vibration example dot SWF. Then the next thing we need to do, and I, <laughs> I didn't do this yet, but we need to reference the dot ANE file. Now you can you can reference the file. Notice if I click over here, remember it's it's in this folder here and it's in this ready to use extension. I'm just gonna make this easy on myself. I'm gonna copy this back up. I'm gonna create a new folder. The reason I'm creating a new folder is so that it's extension -der. And then within here, I want to paste the ANE just to make it simple. So I don't have to traverse this other folder and all that, type it and make mistakes and miss it. So back to the command line. What I'm doing now is the last reference is where the .ane file is. And we say extdir and then the name of the folder, which is extension dir. OK, go ahead and press return. Now, it's going to ask for our password, so we give it a password, whatever you used when you created the app, and then it's going to package it. Notice over here you see some things happening. This is where it creates the temporary files, and it creates all that other good stuff. Okay, now, it was very quick, and it did it. Notice over here we have a vibration.apk. Okay, so now uh, let's go over, and I'm going to install it on my phone and show you what that looks like. So I'm going to switch over to the camera. And over here I have a new uh, Android phone. This is the Motorola Triumph. And the reason I got this one, one, um, it's probably the best, cam uh, best phone without a contract. And it's done by uh, Virgin Mobile. And anyway, it has a front-facing camera, and that's the reason why I got it. So anywho, we've got the phone plugged in, and what I need to do then is, since I'm already on the command line, and since I have the um, Air SDK right here, the Air SDK includes the ADB uh, file, the program that allows you to communicate with the Android devices over command line. It's the utility. So let's go ahead. I'm going to type the command line and install the app. Now, <laughs> I just realized something. And you're going to say, Brent, what are you doing? Brent, what are you doing? And I'm going to say, I'm pulling this out of my hat. i got to delete this app. Wait, did I delete it? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Anyway, uh, enough about me. So, we're going to reference the Air SDK, and it happens to be in the lib folder, in the Android folder, in the bin folder, ADB. And we're going to first, let's say ADB devices, just so we know that it's seeing my phone, and it says, hey, it's not running, now it's running. Hey, there it is. Okay, so now I'll do the same thing. I just press the up arrow to get back. Now I'm going to say install vibration.apk. Press return. And there it is. Success. Success. Okay, now we can uh, click over to the phone and get to the app. Where is it? There it is vibration example dot debug okay now it's going to load all right now hopefully you can hear this above the sound of my laptop fan okay it it actually works let me let me record it near the phone i mean my microphone listen so here's 300 milliseconds Here's 500 milliseconds. Here's 1,000 milliseconds. 
<laughs> Isn't that cool? So basically what that means is uh, you can now add some uh, what they call haptic feedback to your apps by triggering the vibration. And so you can obviously pass in a value and decide which value works best for you. But that is how you package an ActionScript native extension uh, using the command line. Now, let's review real quick um, what you had to do. First, let's look at our uh, app XML because this is where things get tricky. Okay, you have, you're using Flash Builder or you're using Flash Professional. You overlaid the Air 3.0 SDK. You modified the uh, files so that it points to targets Air 3.0. Within the app descriptor file, you have to add a couple of things. The one thing you need is this extensions tag. This extension ID is for this vibration extension. That is required. For Android, in order for this to use the vibrate functionality, we had to add the permission uses permission. So pay attention to that when you're doing uh, native extensions on Android. So anyway, I uh, hope you liked it. And if I get around to it, I might show some iOS examples, but you already know how to do that. It's the same idea. All right, thanks.